From the distance, it doesn't seem real. A strange tower, 40 stories high, bathed in light. But this weird new landmark in a field outside Seville is actually a new kind of solar power station. Some civilizations worship the sun, here they harness it. And these beams lighting up the sky could help head off the worst effects of global warming. When you're close up, these look just like steel panels. But in fact, I'm standing in a field of giant mirrors, all focusing the sun's rays in one direction. The beams are aimed at the top of the tower. It's painful to look at, but it's here that the sunlight is transformed into thermal energy. Now, this is the only way to get to the very top of the tower. And I'm really feeling the heat up here because it's just through that wall that all that sunshine is being focused. And actually, I can feel the temperature rising just in the metal of this ladder. And all of this sunlight is reflected up here to the top tower. It's incredibly bright and hot. The temperature here can reach more than 400 degrees centigrade. Enough to power a boiler here, which in turn goes on to generate huge amounts of electricity. The steam created drives turbines, just like in a normal power station, and the heat can be stored in these tanks, so even at night the system can generate power. Each mirror, and there are 600 of them, is adjusted to generate the right amount of heat. In the control room, they keep watch over a power station that amazingly gives off no greenhouse gases. We have zero emissions in this electricity production. We are producing 11 megawatts at this moment and uh, no emissions uh, at the atmosphere, no greenhouse uh, gases. The biggest challenge, keeping the mirrors clean. But what about the cost? Well, power from here is three times more expensive than from a conventional power station. But this is the first of its kind. It has some uh, additional initial risk cost, uh, some additional R&D. I am sure that in the course of the next five years, we will see similar cost reductions uh, in this technology as we have experienced with wind uh, and other technology. And there are plans for a huge expansion. Already fields are being prepared for thousands more mirrors. Imagine installing millions across the Sahara Desert and sending the power north to Europe. That is being considered. In Seville, it's the end of another cloudless day. Solar thermal power won't work in every country. But here in Spain, there's a new era of renewable energy. A thousand years ago, these streets were the first to have lighting. Soon, this may be the first city to be powered entirely by the sun, a sign of a real push to respond to the threat of the climate changing. David Chuckman, BBC News, in Seville.